bring you through a full laryngeal massage. Okay. So you actually want to start underneath your chin. So this is um, your jawbone. You want to start by taking your thumbs and putting it underneath the chin and palpating. So it's like you're kneading dough. These muscles that make up the floor of the tongue and the mouth right. are a conglomerate of about five or six different muscles. So as you're doing this, feel for softness in those muscles as you push up. So if you're talking mm, and you're feeling the thumb being pushed out of the way, mm, that's tension there. And that should invite more massage. Okay. So from here, you're going to find the back of your chin, and that's where your hyoid bone sits. The hyoid bone mm -hmm. is a shoehorn-shaped bone that goes from side to side, and it juts out in the front here. And a lot of different muscles that help you swallow are attached to this bone, so you want to take your fingers, move it just on either side of the bone, not too far out, because then you'll hit your carotids, just right on either side of where you feel your Adam's apple just above it, and then massage in circles. And what you want to do here is encourage the, the posture of your fingers to move inward and then stroke downward. And you can do that for a good two or three minutes. Now for you, you actually don't have a lot of tension up here. You hold most of your tension down here, right in the muscles, the tiny little muscles that connect the cartilages of the thyroid to the um, the cricoid. And so what you want to do is take your fingers on either side of your Adam's apple, and your Adam's apple is what mm -hmm. you feel over here. So you can just go to either side of it, and you should feel a tiny little valley of space there. Mm -hmm. That valley of space gets smaller the more we talk or the more tense we get. So you want to massage the muscles in that valley of space by getting your fingers in that space and just moving them forward and backwards and forward and backwards. Okay. Allowing your jaw to remain heavy and loose is really important two minutes, for this. Like you do about two minutes. So just going back and forth. And the last one is this global pressing the larynx from side to side. So you take your full hands on either side, first three fingers, press and hold, mm -hmm. and then press and hold. It really moves. Side side. It's okay. supposed to. I mean, there's no attachment to any bone or cartilage. It's just, it's very flexible if we allow okay. it to be, and if we can consistently check in and make sure that those those muscles are responsive. For two minutes, back and forth. And you can do it as long as you want. Okay. Just making sure that you're not lifting your chin when you do this, because that's not only going to tense up the back of the neck, but it's also going to tense these muscles up. So keep your chin level with the floor, or you can lower it just a little bit. And they're just moving. Sometimes people, when they're really tired, they'll hang on to that pressure for a little bit and then do the same thing on the other side and just notice how slack my jaw is. Okay. Okay?